Okay, back for another part of Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves. Today, today we have Bentley having a job to do. So, let's get to it. Oh, two jobs actually. Oh wow. One. <laughs> Triple jump. It's time we dealt with Mugshot. We can't risk him taking down the Baron before you in the finals. Not to mention he deserves a little payback for what he did to our aircraft hangar. True, true. Since Mugshot's assault, the Baron has been keeping an eye on him. We can't fight him out in the open for risk of getting disqualified. Thankfully, Inspector Fox is out in the field looking for us. I hear you. We'll set them against each other. Mugshot is an international criminal. He's still an all. international criminal. Carmelita won't be able to resist. My only concern is for Inspector Fox's safety. Oh, don't worry about her. She's more than a match for a meathead like Mugshot. Okay, I'll pick a fight with Mugshot and bait him into meeting in the town square for our rumble. You do that. I'll get Carmelita's attention and lead her back here to oh, the same dear. place. Agreed. I've got to hand it to you, Benley. This is a really underhanded plan. Why, thank you. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Oh, dear. I kind of want to... I kind of want to pause and like get a screenshot of of Bentley's head zoomed in because it looked like he was wearing two pairs of glasses. Like one was like that whole spongy thing that serves as his eyebrows, and then you have the actual pair of glasses. So, where can we find Mugshot at? Ah. Yo! I'll beat it, twerp. The Black Baron's been giving me the grill since that event in your hangar. Perhaps you'd like to take out some frustration by engaging in a physical battle with me outside in the town square. No way! I'm being watched here. That, and it wouldn't feel right pounding a four-eyed runt in a wheelchair. Uh, his record versus the Koopa game? His breath? His mental <laughs> faculties? <laughs> oh, alright. know what I'm saying to you or are you too stupid to understand the words coming in through your ear holes Ooh. what what's an ear hole talk sense why Dang, don't you he is though his breath my head is spitting from your breath what do you gargle with raw sewage every night before bed yeah you half right I find a nice tang to my breath helps maintain my poisonal space. Oh, what? No! Oh, that's nasty, yo. That's nasty. I'm sure you wouldn't win in the fight anyway. You've got such a long, sad history of losing to the Cooper gang. I could whip your whole gang with one arm if you jerks would sit still. Look at these arms. I'm unstoppable. Hey. His appearance. You know, I've been thinking about your appearance. Look, if you don't got nothing to say nice, then don't say hey. nothing at all. Get it? All right. What? Ain't got no sassy comments, smart guy? <laughs> oh, I get it. You got nothing nice to say, so you're keeping quiet. That's real cute. <laughs> you really got nothing nice to Dang. say? That's cold. <laughs> that is cold. <laughs> oh my god. That was so well done. That was so well done. <laughs> oh. 
Your mother was a broken down tub of junk with more gentlemen callers than the operator. Oh, no, you didn't. Nobody talks that way about my mother. Nobody. You touched the okay, mom. little broken down <laughs> runt. Looks like you're going to get broken down even more. Town Square, five minutes. Please don't be late. Did they got just grow fire? <laughs> oh, I, that was comedy. I love that. Okay, Sly, That's why I love these games. You have those comedy moments. Her back to the town square. You get these comedy moments. It's priceless. Wish you not being tired. Hey, Carmelita. Hey, Inspector Fox. Still looking for a date to the prom? Quit running and I'll pin the first song. Oh god! Sly, why run? Why not face me like a real man? So I'm guessing this is a play as Carmelita bit. Mess with me? That little punk is gonna eat dice. Hey! You're that cop hag that busted me back in Mesa City! Mugshot, alias Two Gun Tony. Two -gun -tony. Also known as Meathead yeah, Mugshot. Two Gun Tony. Seven I like foot that. three inches, 324 pounds, wanted in seven countries with 13 outstanding warrants for your arrest. How much does he weigh? And yes, I'm that cop hag that put you away back in Mesa. Well, wise guy, lady. Feel like going for another shot at the title? It's my duty to put you behind bars. That, and I enjoy making tough guys cry like the stupid babies they really are. I ain't no stupid baby! Okay. Oh, he, he just tossed the bomb. I gotta play some third person shooter games. Killing I didn't speed. know they was Game yours. <laughs> Booking this idiot will take all night. Oh well, I'm sure Cooper won't make his move anytime soon.
Now for the other mission. And the wolf comes after only me! Aha! A perfect feral specimen of Lupus Gigantormus! So, let me get this straight again. You plan on stalking that thing, drugging it, putting the guru on board, and setting the two free to smash up the guards? An airtight plan, I agree. In simplicity itself. By channeling the wild destruction housed in that bloodthirsty creature, we should be able to thin out the Black Baron's ranks. Which, of course, means fewer enemy pilots flying against you in the files. I'm all for evening the odds in our favor, but come on, this plan seems a little... risky. Not at all. I've modified my sleep darts with heavy doses of skunk bulb. It should be enough to pacify skunk the beast. Bomb. Provided he doesn't catch wind of me first. All right, that sounds okay. You can hang back and shoot him at a distance. Uh, well, given the weight of the darts, I'll need to sneak up behind him and take a shot within a few meters. Meters? Quit trying to freak me out and put the guru on the binocucom. After I put the wolf to sleep, it'll be up to you. Thanks, Guru. You always know just what to say. Oh, dear. You gotta put... The, I gotta... Put the guy to sleep. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, that takes care of my guard problem. I just gotta sneak up on the guy, and it's hard to see when you got skunk bomb. Got it. I gotta get him four times. Oh god! Shoot the wolf from behind without being seen. Yeah, easier said than done. I got hit him four times. Too far away. You'll need to get close to make the shot count. Oh, thank God. Oh, God. <laughs> I have to use, I need to use the guards. And pray. Your dart was no, it wasn't! It was not! 
You mean this guy literally has to have his back turned? He literally has to have his back turned to make it work. Nice one, Bentley. actually hit him from behind great shot now run for it nice work big game hunter the skunk bomb is kicking in he's almost asleep guru you're up you should be able to possess the giant wolf now that he's out and then he wakes up. Hold down these thugs. There are no guards. Seriously, where are all the guards? Okay, there's one. He's like, oh god! He just, he, he turns around and he's like, oh, no. You thought you were so Okay, maybe you were. You thought you were so He's such a pro at dodging. Keep it up. That's ten fewer pilots in the finals tomorrow. Just three more to go. Two more, and we're set. Pilot, and it's a done deal. God dang it. And that little piggy didn't get home. Excellent. That should even the odds tomorrow in the finals. Oh, there's a... Hey, there's another Bentley job to do. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wow. <laughs> so I'm guessing like day one and day two have major differences as to the drop rates of what you can get. How do you plan to hack into the aircraft control tower? It's simple, really. The whole system is linked through computer nodes which monitor the power generated by the nearby windmills. Seriously? All the power around here comes from the local windmills? I thought they were just for looks. The control nodes tell a different story. How do you plan to get up there? It's pretty high. My turbo chair has been outfitted with an extra afterburner. Heights such as that are nothing to me. So, hacking minigame is a go. Prepare yourself, computer. I will show no mercy. Good thing I've got hacker code linked to the right analog stick. This data stream looks protected. Hmm, looks like I might need to transport the circular lockdown code. Finally, some challenge. Digital Kung Fu! Hey, yeah, stop, stop. Are you telling me it's on that blimp? Oh, I'm about to... I was about to freak. Grasshopper, kneel before the feet of the master. Looks like they're going to put up a little fight this time.
Another terminal terminated. <laughs> That's not... It doesn't need to be assigned to a button. Yes it does, because I can't seem to jump up there. Gotta be something else I can jump off of to get up there. Yeah, that. Oh, come on. Oh, I. That's not easy to ascend. I don't even know how I got up there last time. Yeah, that's a that one's badly programmed. Don't worry, my pet. I'll make this quick and painless. Oh, oh, wow, I got I got murdered in that one.
Excellent! Now for the aircraft control tower! Once it's hacked, the system will be mine! Is this what goes through a hacker's mind? your auxiliary afterburner to get over to that computer. Jump as far as you can towards it, then goose the afterburner. Go easy on the throttle, and you should get a few bursts. Aha! My final opponent! Looks like they saved the big code for last. How that be? And a shield. I got to, I got to, I got to. Oh, I got to get him. Oh, you got to get him. Wait, what? Bentley, what did you do? Whoa. Windmill throwing stars, eh? This little system bug might come in handy. I'm sure it might. That was a little scary. But I believe that's it for day two. And now we will move on to the final operation. Thanks to our combined efforts, we are now ready for the final round of the Aces dog fighting competition. Put on your helmets, cause it's time for Operation Turbo Dominant Eagle. In just a few hours, Team Iceland and Team Belgium will begin fighting it out in the B Champs round. This will provide the perfect cover for step one of my plan. Sly, use the catapult and your paraglider to get access to the local gunships. Land some tracking devices, then head back to the team hangar and suit up for the finals. Murray, you're up next. Use your rowboat to pull down the aircraft communication antenna. With it out of commission, the Baron will have to use an unscrambled radio frequency to call in the gunship for backup. If that happens, I'll be ready with our secret weapon. And with the tracking devices installed, I'm guaranteed not to miss. In the end, though, it'll be up to slide. This is a sudden death competition. The first team to take out last year's champ wins. That's if the Black Baron doesn't take out all the competition first. So us versus the Black Baron. Okay. Well, you heard the plan from Bentley. That's what's going to go on in the next round. I am Brad Reed Gaming World, signing off. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.